gotten so used to designing for desktop screens and that's natural because you know that's what the web was born on but now all of a sudden we have to account for these smartphones, dumb phones, tablets, e-readers, netbooks, notebooks, web-enabled TVs, game consoles, a whole bunch of other stuff, a whole bunch of other connected stuff. All of those things access the web and it's now our job as web designers and developers to actually make this happen. But, you know, with all of that, there's all these different screen sizes we need to account for, different ergonomics that we need to account for, different input methods, all of these different things. Connectivity, you might be on Fios, but you also might be on Edge, all of this stuff. And it's just insanely difficult to create an experience that looks and functions beautifully in all of these different contexts across all these different devices. And what we found is that while responsive design is technically just fluid grids, flexible media, and CSS media queries, it impacts every aspect of the design process, right? From how we work together, you know, how do designers and developers work together when historically developers have been in this cave, <laughs> these cavemen, and we sort of design in isolation and then slip our designs under the door to these developers sitting in the basement and that's as much interaction as we've had. So it's affecting how designers and developers work together, it is affecting how we talk to our clients, how we talk to our teammates, what tools we use, what deliverables we are creating. That's what people are struggling with because we got a little cozy there for a bit. We had this nice Henry Ford assembly line style process that we follow and it's repeatable and it's wonderful and everybody sort of gets it and now all of a sudden all of that just fails miserably. You can't create for all these different environments in that way and create successful projects. In my UX immersion workshop you'll learn how to create atomic design systems, how to think in terms of patterns in order to create really robust interfaces that work and function across all these different devices. You'll learn about how designers and developers can work together to sort of establish these robust design systems to launch really great projects together. Mm -hmm.